Thanks for joining us. I'm Tiffany Chan with the WBZ News Update. Our top stories. One person is recovering after a house explosion in Needham. The blast started a fire at a home on Prince Street yesterday. It happened as a crew was working on a gas line. No one was inside the home when it exploded. One worker was taken to the hospital but has since been released. The exact cause of the blast is still under investigation. And the teachers union in Hingham is criticizing the school system after the arrest of a substitute teacher last month. The middle school teacher was arrested while inside of the school building. No students saw the arrest, which police say is related to something outside of the school community. Now, in a letter sent yesterday, the Hingham Education Association says it is concerned by the school district's lack of lack of transparency. It says the union learned about the arrest from parents and not from school officials. The head of the Dighton Rehoboth Regional School District is raising concerns about male athletes taking part in female sports after a player suffered significant facial injuries Thursday night. The DR field hockey team was playing Swamp Scott in a playoff game. A female DR player was seriously injured when she was hit in the face by a shot which was hit by a male Swamp Scott player. The player was taken to the hospital. In a letter, DR School Superintendent Bill Rooney says in part, quote, while I understand that the MIAA has guidelines in place for COVID participation under Section 43 of their handbook, this incident dramatically magnifies the concerns about many about player safety. Male athletes competing on female teams is legal under the Massachusetts Equal Rights Amendment. Now let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff. Hi, Jacob. Hi, Tiffany. Good morning to you and good morning to you at home. We are seeing temperatures reflecting to the sunshine that we're seeing today. It's going to be a very pleasant day overall with high pressure kind of building on in. Don't expect any sort of issues for the day today. So there's our sunshine. Even as we go into the afternoon, we'll call it a few waves of clouds. Tomorrow, the clouds do increase, and I do think there could be a couple of areas of some patchy drizzle along the south coast. Today, near 60 degrees on either side, comfortable stuff. For our Sunday tonight, we're back to some clouds increasing. And by the time we get into tomorrow, the clouds will be around. Temperatures will be in the upper 40s to near 50 degrees cooler than average for this time of year. And our seven day forecast does feature a bit of an unsettled Tuesday, especially in the morning. By the time we get into Wednesday near 50 degrees and Thursday, we have a chance for a wintry mix in the morning. So there's your seven day forecast. Tiffany, back to you. All right, thank you, Jacob. I'm Tiffany Chan, and this has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.